Hey guys, welcome back to Bytesize Tech. I'm back with another video about the Sharp Arcos R1 Compact. So recently I found out that there is a way to update this phone to the latest and greatest version of Android, the Android 10. I never could see any update available on my device and was quite frustrated initially that I am not getting any updates. Turns out, the update was purposely only made available to those located in Japan and it does not matter if your phone is a Japan, Japanese set. So if you bought a Japan set and you are located in Singapore or Indonesia or Malaysia or any other parts of the world, you will never get the update available. But I found out a way to bypass this location restriction and I want to share it with all of you guys who have been dying to get Android 10 on your sharp or close devices from outside of Japan. So before we start, I just want to point out that this trick will work with any sharp Aquos devices under any of the Japanese telco. So if you have an R2 or you have an R, it doesn't matter, it will still work for you to get any security patches or updates that you, have, uh, you haven't gotten. Now, before you do this, please do back up your devices first because you have to do a factory clean reset on your phone and if you have already done a backup, let's just get straight to it. So the first thing you have to do is a factory reset of the phone. And while the phone is doing a reset, remember, check out the SIM card in your phone because the cell tower will indicate the Aqua server of your real location after the reset. So make sure to record that SIM card. And then now let's just go ahead and speed up the factory reset process. So yeah, now we have the phone back to factory condition and we have to set it up. Let's just do the typical setup and remember to uncheck all the Google options so that they cannot get our current location. Also, skip through everything that we can skip so that we can quickly get to the Android 10 update and we can set it up after Android 10 update. Alright, now the phone is set up. Let's go ahead and turn off other signals like NFC, GPS, just in case, and set up Wi-Fi. And once the Wi-Fi is set up, you can see that it is still not getting the update here as I refresh. And that's not because uh, of the location problem, it's just that the internet we are using is still from the current Wi-Fi location, right? And we need to use a VPN to trick the server to think that we are connected to a Japanese Wi-Fi. So to do that, let's go ahead and sign into the Play Store to download a VPN. And look for the app called Japan VPN. Japan VPN, and the app is free and it's quite reliable actually. Once installed, it will prompt you to also install OpenVPN and it's okay, just install, uh, it's all free. Once done, open the app, turn on VPN by pressing the large green button in the middle. Wait till it says connected. Now, we go back into update and refresh. There you go, you can now update your phone. See, I already have the update uh, available now. And if you do not have, uh, I mean if you have not done the previous security updates, You'll probably see those updates appear first before you can get the Android 10 update. So you have to do those security updates first because those are mandatory. 
Remember, leave your phone and don't touch it until the updates are done. Here I have done several updates for the phone and now I can finally do the Android 10 update. Let's just go ahead and update it to Android 10. Okay, welcome back. So now we have finished the Android 10 update. Let's just see the Android version here real quick to show you that it's on Android 10. And yeah, I hope you guys have found this guide useful. If you do, please like and subscribe and share it with your friends who are also using Aquos R or Aquos R Compact or R2 who are struggling to get a security patch or updates. And with that, uh, please do like and subscribe again. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.